Hi everyone, welcome to The Long Dark. Time to have another look at this brilliant little game, which we haven't probably played for over a year and a half or something like that anyway. It's been a long, long time. Uh, it's a survival game, but it's a, it's a good quality survival game. There's so many good, there's so many survival games out there, but this one is a classic. It's brilliant. Um, number of changes since we've last played. They are badges now and feats. Um, which obviously it looks like there's things you need, you can do. Survive 500 days and your body is adapted to these conditions. You now consume 10% fewer calories, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, there's challenges where you can do uh, a variety of uh, missions, as it were. Uh, the story is currently not in game, but the sandbox is. And you've got various levels of. Basically, you've got easy, normal, hard, very hard. Um, we're just going to go with normal which gives us a nice equal parts hunter and hunted struggle to survive will eventually lead to mastering the elements uh, you can select which region you want to start in you can of course move around the map and go into all three so we might as well just start there choose to be male or female I'm going to stick with male sandbox 4 we'll go with uh, let's play and let's go it's not the strongest species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one with the most adaptable to change, I think that said, as it slowly went away. So here we are. We have a railway tunnel and a railway line leading out. It's either early morning or... I think... Uh, I think it's dawn. Judging by the stars are out and light is just coming over the horizon. It's not a great start, it's going to be very cold at the moment. Um, so these, if I remember correctly, that railway tunnel is a route into a different region. So uh, we don't have to worry about that so far. We're going to explore this region and see what we can find. If I bring up, it's less than one hour of darkness left. You can see, and so we are currently getting chilled. We are well rested. We have plenty of water, and we are reasonably well fed. But we are getting very cold. So we need to get out of the wind. It feels like minus 34 degrees cent uh, centigrade. So let's... Um oh, I thought that was a body. It's just um, some some sand. At a oh, hang on. We're sheltered from the... Uh we're sheltered from the wind down here. You can see the symbol in the bottom. Um, we're still getting very cold, though. So we need to press on. Oh, look. Our footprints. That's new. That's pretty cool. Um... We've got another tunnel over here. Let's go and check this out, see if there's any uh, carriages. There looks to be a, like a hut or something over in the corner. Uh, we are very cold now, so I'm going to actually start sprinting to see if we can't just warm ourselves up. What's that? Oh, a pry bar! Oh, what a find! Straight away! Let's get inside, try and warm up a touch. So you can see our temperature, which is the top one of the lower bars, is... Uh, it's slowly increasing. You can see which way the arrow is pointing. So we're slowly warming up. Uh, and the rested, so that's our energy level, our water level and our food level are slowly declining. So in here, it feels like 1 degree Celsius, which is uh, which is a lot better than the minus 34 out there. We've got some woolen socks here. What's that? Herbal tea. Champion. Uh, we could break that crate up for wood should we need it. What's this book? Eventually a source of knowledge. For now, something to burn when freezing. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll check the drawers. So those of you who have never seen this game before, it is a survival. But it's not a survival against zombies, which 99% of games are. This is a survival against the the wilderness, basically, and the elements. It's a oh, bedroll. Oh, we can't take that. Uh, let's have a look in this plastic container. Nothing. Anything as a pillow there. Multi-grade MRE. Contemporary MRE. Good quality and meets all technical requirements to be considered real food. Designed to keep the soldier on their feet. Okay, we'll have some of that. Good stuff. Uh, so what we need to do is manage our, obviously, our, our temperature. Um, and we do that by making sure we have the right clothing on. Making sure we are well fed to keep the calories up and obviously everything else. So we've got these socks which give us a plus 0.6 degrees Celsius warmth. No um, wind chill effect. 
Uh, so these ones are pretty rubbish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can't break those down. We'll get some cloth out of it. It's going to take a little bit of time. We've got 13 hours of daylight left. Good, and we've got some cloth. Right, we're wearing all of that. So we're not really well prepared. We've got some rag ragged jeans on. We've got a decent down vest, which is not too bad. New thermal underwear, which is great. Woolly socks. Um, worn sneakers. Ragged thin wool sweater. And a little red bobble hat. Cool. Uh, what else would we have? We do have a bedroll, actually, which is good. We have some bandages. What's that? That is antibiotics. Great. Some granola bars. Um, and some pork beans. We got a sewing kit, which is a huge thing to have straight away. Okay, well, there's not much in here. Uh, so we're going to leave this trailer. At least that warmed us up a little bit, and the sun is coming up. So... Let's quickly check in this tunnel here to see if there's anything of interest. Uh, no, it looks like it's caved in. What is... Oh, it's just... We are sheltered here, which is quite nice. Right, so not much here. Um, feel my feet. Yeah, we are getting cold. We are very... We're getting to that numb point now. Um, so we need to get off this hill and find ourselves a proper little hut or something so we can warm up in. Can't see anything worthy down there. Careful as we come down here, we don't want to injure ourselves on the icy rocks. Right, we've got some branches, but we're going to pick up these sticks. The thing with branches is you have to break them down. That means standing around in the cold, which... Uh, I'm not prepared to do it at the moment because we are cold as it is. So, I'm gonna pick up some sticks to uh, so we can light a fire. Maybe if so cold in my life. at risk from hypothermia, we are freezing. Come on, what we need is a little sheltered area where, if nothing else, we can uh, set a little fire going just to warm us up for five ten minutes. Oh come on. Oh, look, there's another little hut down here. We're going to check this hut out. Try not to slide down here. We've got, what are these? Mushrooms. We'll take one of those, and we'll check it out once we're uh, we're inside. Oh, 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 it's cold. It's cold. We've got some newspaper. Good. We, we might start a little fire in here. Bedroll, pillow. What's that? Scrap metal. We'll have that. Oh, storm lantern. Champion. Down vest, we'll take that. Uh, anything. Oh, hang on. Let's just get rid of this bloody lantern. Where is it? There it is. Unequip. Summit soda. Lovely. Nothing else there. Anything under the beds? Well, I can see. Oh, we've got a jerry can here. We'll have that. Uh, we've got a crate in the corner. Mm, it's not being particularly helpful around here. Anyway, let's see if we can... Can we craft anything? What is this little mushroom for? Edible shelf mushroom found mainly on the coniferous trees. Okay. So um, what, we can't really do anything with it, I guess, no? Um, anyway, so if we go here, can we make a fire time for harvest five minutes we'll get tinder plugs no we don't do that hmm mm, mm. okay how do we create a fire it's been so long I can't remember uh, the one we're wearing is actually slightly better than that one so we'll keep on with it for the moment but um yeah we are cold. We are cold. Maybe if we went to bed we could warm up slightly. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, let's just check our calories and water are fine. So we're going to we're going to go to bed for an hour, which will give us a five degree warmth. Let's have two... Uh, no, let's have one hour. And that'll just allow us to uh, warm up a little bit so we don't lose our toes. 
There we go. How are we feeling? We're feeling a little bit better. It's still cold, but we're a little bit better. And we got a bit more energy as well, which is great. Back out into the cold wilderness. Right, so we are going to stop picking up some sticks. And we're going to head down the hill because there's not, I don't think there's anything up here. So we're just going to follow the way of uh, the route. seems to be going down. What we really need to find is a little village or something. I thought we were supposed to be on the highway, for heaven's sake. This isn't a highway. Obviously, It's obviously the map, and uh, you get random dropped in. Look at this game. Oh, it's gorgeous. My fingers oh. feel numb. oh, stop it. Stop it, please. We've only been out here five minutes. Might do a little bit of jogging. It's going to burn some uh, energy and wear things a little bit, but it'll allow us to uh, move along. What are these? Is this footprints or these just stones? Just stones. Panic not. So, not only is the uh, the environment trying to kill us, or it'll do a good job of trying to kill us, there are also dangers such as wolves and bears, which uh, obviously will aggro and uh, attack us. But there are other animals such as freezing. shut up, such as deer and rabbits, which we can in fact harvest, which uh, should be great. So we are freezing. Get oh, why can't I get up there? The problem is they do include the 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 voice of the actual character you're playing. Now I know why they do that. They do that for audio clues to let you know that you're freezing. You've gone through a different uh, state change. But my god, is it annoying. Oh, we got power lines. This is looking promising. Whoa, don't fall down there. This is not like normal games. You can't just dive down there. We, we run the risk of breaking limbs, fracturing ankles, all that kind of thing, which obviously has a very detrimental effect on our ability to survive. But we are shielded from the wind here. Feels like minus 21. Oh, a tropical minus 21. Is that buildings over there? Hang on, let's have a look at the edge of this lake. Oh, we've got, we've got little huts on the lake. I think they're fishing huts. And there looks to be like a jetty over there. We could get onto the lake. Here we go. And we can have a look which way. If there, there's huts over here, we're going this way. Fortunately, although it does think it feels like minus 24, we're burning through the calories quite quickly. Um, this is actually, the weather's not actually too bad. Uh, once you go out in a blizzard, oh my goodness, the, the weather effects in this game are amazing. So um, I'm going to quickly do a little. It feels like we're incredibly low to the. Uh, well, we're not ducked down. We're 93%. We are freezing. We need to get in, have something to eat, have a bit of drink, and then get a fire going because it is absolutely brassic out here. Oh, but I see some huts. So, and I'm not talking about the green hut on the ice. I'm talking about the huts on the uh, on the key side. Oh, what we have there? We have what looks to be. Oh, we got three deer. Got some deer walking across the uh, the lake. Grand. We'll see if we can hunt them later. We'll check out this green hut on the way to the uh, the house. Oh, are they just huts or houses? Either way, they are going to be our point port of call this evening. Well, for the day, we're going to set up a base of operations and see if we can't go from there. Right, little fishing hut. Oh, we'll take that wood. We'll take that wood. We'll take that tinder plug. We could get that stove going. How, does it, how warm does it feel? Minus 14 in here. Oh, it's lovely. Come on, we need some clothes. No. So that's the good thing about houses. We, we potentially find clothing. Right, I am going to quickly have... Let's have a granola bar. And we're going to have a... Uh, 
a can of drink as well. Which also increases the calories, which is good. Good. So we're in good state, food and water wise. Let's get in and check these houses out. Oh, we've got a little boat there. Which is pretty cool. Oh! That wind noise! It's going straight through me. Are these tents? What are these? These purple things. Oh, fishing nets? They could be fishing nets, yeah. Bundles of fishing nets and buoys and stuff like that. Cool. Alright, anything out here? This is the fishing camp. Excellent. Okay. It feels like uh, zero degrees in here. There's not a campfire, which is a bit of a shame. We're going to take this wood. Work boots. We'll take those. We'll check those out right away. Um, so these work boots, they're poor condition, but they give plus five against uh, warmth bonus and plus 0.3 against wind chill. They give nothing, so we're going to put those on. And our feet should be a little bit warmer. Should be great. Hope I can still eat Stale chocolate bar. Yeah, it's fine. Metal. Scrap metal. Yeah, love it. Love it. Love it. We'll have that newspaper. That'll make a nice bit of tinder. Um, we can break down, you know, the, the benches, the crates, the chairs, some of the pillows and stuff. But, um, oh, herbal tea. Lovely. At the moment, I'm just going to try and find one of these little huts with a, a stove in it. Worst case scenario, we'll go back out to the uh, the one on the lake, because that had a little pot-bellied stove. And we'll get nice and warm. Okay, they are slightly different, so that's good. There is still a hope that... What's that under that bed there? Dog food. If I could just... Yep, we'll have that. I ain't fussy. I'll eat dog food. That'll come in handy. Mittens, that'll do. That'll do. This is all helping us add to our warmth. What's that? Painkillers. Terrific. We'll take that word. Anything else? No, let's go and check out the other one. So cold. So that looks like a nice little house over there. So just one more hut, then we'll go to the other one. Aha ha! What do we have in here? Ooh, a backpack! An empty backpack. That's kind of disappointing. Simple tools, we'll definitely take that. Nothing in there. Anything in these drawers. Decent woolly socks. Excellent. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Oh, this is a bit of a disappointing hut, isn't it? Okay. Too cold to think. I wish you were too cold to talk. So we look, we do have a workbench and a frozen angler. Oh, hang on. I don't want to craft anything yet. I'm too cold. I'll take that book. That is a skill book by the looks of it. Come on, please be a fire in here. No, but we'll take the newsprint, we'll take the dog food. This will come in handy. New mittens, perfect. Uh we are numb, um, but we are warming up slightly. Anything good in these lockers? No. We've got the pry bar so we can get into locked lockers now, which is really useful. Antiseptic. Bottled water, excellent. Wonder if this is Salty crackers. Excellent. Well, it's a start, isn't it? Anything under the beds? Not that I can see. Right. So, we are slowly, ever so slowly warming up. It feels like one degree in here, which is lovely. Right, these mittens. Far better. 1.9 warmth. Uh, and one Celsius wind protection. Put those on. We can uh, break those down. And while we do this, okay, we'll do a little, a little bit of work in here, but it will actually warm us up slightly because we are. Why? Why do we have? Why? Let's put these socks on. 
Uh, we'll also break these down. And as we, as I know, our calories and our time is going nine hours left, but we are warming up as we're doing this action. So we'll also break down um, the trainers. It's going to take a bit of time. We may need to drink and eat something. Uh, we're going to break down this. How long that will take? Twenty minutes. That's fine. We'll harvest that as well. So we're going to have lots of uh, cloth and and leather, which we can hopefully repair some of our other clothing. So our boots need to be repaired, for example. But first of all, let us grab a drink. Which has sorted out our calories and our uh, thirst for the time being, which is good. Um, let's have a look. So our ragged jeans, they're not great, are they? Uh, let's see if we can get our boots uh, actions. Let's see if we can repair these. So we need cloth and cured leather. I think we have both. Chance of success, 70%. Let's give it a go. We are warming up nicely. Five hours left. 77% our boots are now at. So that has had a huge um, improvement on those. Also our rag jeans need to be uh, repaired. 70% with cloth. 30 minutes. Let's try to repair that as well. Again, we're warming up. We're now chilled, which is good. Tired and thirst are uh, becoming. 62%. Okay, so we've repaired that quite nicely. We have ragged thin wool sweater, which isn't great, um, but uh, we we are quickly coming to the end of the day. So uh, let us. So we're warming up. Let's just, let's just have some more food. Um, what do we want to eat? Should we eat these. Um, yeah, let's eat these. Do we have a? We have a we have a tin opener. So that's good. Oh, we're smashing it open, apparently. Do we not have a tin opener? I thought we had a tin opener. No? Oh, we had a pry bar. Yeah, it's not quite a tin opener, is it? Uh, let's drink some water as well. What that go down to? Oh, half a kilogram. Okay, that's fine. We drank 0.41 litres of water. We are tired, we're chilled, but... Uh, we can press on a little bit more. We're going to check out the uh, the workbench, actually. See if we can't build something. Right, so we can make old man's beard. No. Torch. We With um, some... Oh, we got that. But we got a storm lantern, so we don't need to do that. A snare. If we get some uh, cured gut, we can make a snare. Catch some rabbits. A hook. Okay, that's fishing. A line. Okay. Fishing tackle. Yeah. Rabbit skin mitts. Deerskin boots, deerskin pants, wolfskin coat, bearskin bedroll, survival bow. This is what we need. We need some cured maple saplings and some cured guts. Okay. Cured birch saplings. Okay. Right. Good. So there are options. Hang on. Let's notice there's a drawer here. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Oh, what a treasure trove that has turned out to be. Right. We've got some more sticks here. We are sli slightly sheltered from the wind, which is good. Is this a backpack or is this just stones? Just stones of snow on them. Right, we found the main road. Hallelujah. Let's follow it. Uh, hopefully we can... Um... Could you Would you listen to us walking along? We sound like a one-man band. I bet, you got, bet we got loads of things all stuck together in the uh, in the backpack. Quick look at the temperature. We are getting slowly get cold, but we're only minus seven now. The improvements to our clothing has certainly helped. Four hours of daylight, so I'm pretty sure there's houses and there's like a, a camp, isn't there? Not the fishing camp. There's like a like a um, a park rangers tent and camp type area with uh, proper buildings. Oh, we got a car here. Let's check this out quickly before we go. Time is getting away from us. Can we get in the boot? Yeah, we can use the old pry bar to get in the boot. Nothing in the boot. Anything in the car? Some cloth. Rifle cleaning kit. Okay. Candy bar. Yeah, we'll have that. Um... 
We are shielded from the wind in here, which is okay. What is the temperature? It feels like two degrees. That's not too bad. Four hours of daylight left. We better press on. Now we're going to gather some more sticks. Worst case scenario, we may have to go back to one of those huts and uh, spend the night there. But we might also... There were some houses over here, weren't there? So we might do a... The Great Lake Crossing. Oh, was that the wind getting up? I hope not. So there's been... Oh wait, is that water? Is that the end of the ice? Oh, weak ice. Okay, let's not go on the weak ice. Holy crap. This is this has definitely changed a lot since I last played this. Uh, which is good. It means it's going to be a hell of a challenge. Right. I think tonight we go back to the huts. And then we... We'll just try this. Is this the hut? We, no, we haven't been to this hut. We're cold and tired. Um, so, we will uh, go back to the uh, the fishing huts over there. And we'll stay the night there. Oh. oh, what's this? A line. Good. We can maybe get some fishing going. Anything. Anything. This stuff will come in handy. Ooh. 303 rifle cartridge, which is good. Pot belly stove. We could have a little fire in there, but... What we're going to do is head back here. I'm going to call that a day. The deer over there. There's four of them now. And they're mo oh, five. Look, there's multiplying. If only we had something to kill them with. We got the ammo, just not the rifle or the bow. I'd like to get a bow made. Oh, can we not get over this? Right, let's pick a hut. Stay there for the night and see if we can't um, start fresh in the morning. Oh, oh, I'm chilly just playing this game. Ah, uh, let's let's go with this one, shall we? It's got the workbench outside, should we need it? Oh, oh it's not the big comfy beds, but this will do. Feels like three degrees in here, so we are going to warm up quite nicely. Um, we do have a little bit of light left, although we are tired, I might, let's research this book, it takes five hours to research this, let's see if we can get two hours research done. Okay, we could, okay, um, we'll do one more hour, I'm looking at tiredness. We only have one hour of daylight left, so it's gone too dark to read. So we need two more hours to complete that book, which is good. Uh, so we're going to go to bed now, and we'll leave it there for episode one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Thoughts and comments, and help me out. This has been such a long time since I've played this game, and it's changed so, so much. But um, looking forward to coming back and doing some more on this series. So I will see you next time in the long dark.